Hi, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Gemini. Hi, Gemini. Okay, so I have my Oceanic Tarot. I have my um, Who Oracle, Romance Angels, my Spirit Deck, my Bodhi Tarot. We're going to dive right in. We'll start out, you know what, let's start out with Spirit Messages for you, Gemini. How you doing, Gemini? So it's been a little bit of a busy month for me. For those of you that know, you know I've been ill. So I'm, that's why I'm catching up last minute. So if you are a new subscriber, just so you know, um, all of my readings are timeless. Whenever you find this video, it's for you. Um, welcome to the channel. If you are a past subscriber, welcome back. <laughs> If my energy is a little off today, it's because I am still recovering from this really long illness that I had. I went to my mom's house for uh, my little guy's birthday party. He turned 10. And before we went, I was ill for two days. You guys knew that. Can you get four cards for Gemini, please? And then... Um, you know, I went to my mom's, then I came back, and then I was ill again. So, it's very strange. And then when I recovered, my then my son got sick. So, you know, he was he had fevers for two days. So it was really, really um, difficult to get my videos going. Okay, so first four cards that we're starting out with Gemini. So the point is, if my energy feels a little off, it's because I'm still recovering. I'm a little tired. It's been a long week. Okay, so we have Leo. <clears throat> Take this how it resonates. You might, your person might be a Leo. You might have a Leo in your life that really influences you. And if this is, um, if Chrissy, if you're watching this, bestie, hey, I showed up in your reading, girl. <laughs> my, my best friend's a Gemini, so I'm <laughs> just going to give her a little shout out. All right, and then we have Pisces. So this could be two different options. You might have a fire sign and a water sign. It makes sense. Leo, Pisces. Either way, look out for these two signs. They're going to be important. And here's why I say that. We have stars are aligned. The stars are lining up for you, Gemini, so that whatever it is that's going to happen, it's destined and faded. The stars are aligning for you. Last card we have, brown eyes. So you have brown eyes, your person has brown eyes. Who knows, you guys' energies are intertwined. And so, you know, it's often very hard to tell yours and your person's energy apart. Either way, pretty amazing if you ask me. Just little things to look for, okay? Little things to to let you know you're on the right track. Does your person that you're seeing right now have brown eyes? Then that's possibly Spirit's amazing way of telling you that's your person. Okay? Oof. We're going to do the Bodhi Tarot next. The messages. The message. The heart little message hearts. Four. Gemini, please. Okay, Gemini, it says your love life is improving. The work you've put in to improve yourself is changing your beliefs and attracting the right people into your life. Wow, that's amazing. So if your love life has been crap lately, it's not going to be crap for long because you've put in a lot of work to heal yourself, to improve yourself, to improve your belief systems. And because of that, it is changing your beliefs about yourself and it's attracting all of the right people into your life. The ones that are going to impact your life in a positive way, Gemini. You're giving too much and not leaving anything for yourself. You may feel drained. Establish boundaries in your relationships. Oof. Gemini, are you having troubles setting boundaries with people that are not... Thinking of your highest good. 
you're spreading yourself too thin. Spirit is saying, know when to, to set those boundaries and say, this is not working out for me. You are draining my energy. You are not a positive person and I cannot give any more energy into this friendship or relationship or whatever it is. Protect your energy and your space, Gemini. You deserve to be happy, okay? You deserve to set those boundaries and let mofos know when they are overstepping your boundaries and making you feel uncomfortable, okay? Because in the long run, it's just going to set the tone for a lot of misery when they're draining your energy or they're not respecting your personal space, okay? Follow your heart instead of your head in this situation. This will lead you to the outcome you truly desire. Ooh, so Spirit is saying there's something that you need to use your, your heart instead of your head. Use your heart, Gemini. And it's going to lead you to the outcome you desire. So what is the outcome? Is it love? Love yourself first. You cannot expect someone else to love you when you do not love yourself. You are innately, innately lovable, Gemini. Why are you doubting that you're lovable? You are amazing. I should know. I have a Gemini best friend. Geminis are amazing. They're kooky. They're funny. They're spontaneous. You know, they like to laugh at, at life and at themselves. And all of those traits are amazing. All the Geminis I know are beautiful. Pixie Moons, she's a Gemini. She's amazing. She's fun. And if you you guys know who she is, check out her channel. <laughs> Pixie Moons, she's amazing. She does Reiki. She's funny. You know, she's quirky. She's beautiful. She's, um, she's comes from her heart. She's like heart centered. That's the word I was looking for. You know, all of my Gemini friends are heart centered. So, you know, the Geminis are fun. They're flirty. They're great. You guys are amazing. Stop selling yourself short. I'm going to kick your ass. Okay. Bye. Okay. I'm done. You can leave my house, Gemini. <laughs> I'm going to use my catchphrase on you. Get out of my house, Gemini. I'm done. Did you see that arm flap? <laughs> Gemini, that was funny. Oh, Lord. I'm going to start lifting. For real, I am. I'm getting some weights. That's going to be gone, Gemini. All right. So we are going to go on to... Let's go on to your tarot message, okay? And we're going to do eight cards. And then we're going to do romance, angels, and your oracle. And we're going to call this reading, okay? All right. Eight cards for Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm starting to lose my voice. I've done a lot of readings tonight. <clears throat> I have one more. I've done five, so. Okay. Four cards for Gemini, please. To start, and then we're going to do four more. We're going to split it up like that. Four of wands. Wow. Okay, so you have a new stable relationship that's coming in, or either you have it, or it's coming in, but... This is Spirit's way of telling you, you've done a job well done. And now your reward is you're going to get the love of a lifetime. That's what it feels like. Damn, I just, I just said you have a new secure, stable relationship coming in. Can't make it up. And now you got security. I told you, this is the real deal. They want to offer you a stable commitment. This is not... So if you've dealt with motherfuckers in the past who didn't want to commit to you, who were wishy-washy, this one is not. See? They're very practical. They're, they, they know what they want and they sort of lay down the foundation of what they want. That's what it is. Oh my God. Knight of Cups proposals. I told you they're serious about you. They want a commitment with you. They want a loving commitment with you, whatever that means to you, whether it's marriage, whether it's like we're boyfriend, girlfriend, whether it's we're moving in together, whatever. Um, no, not that. Don't move in with them <laughs> unless they give you some type of really strong commitment. Is there hair somewhere? I feel this weird. Okay. Okay, we need four more cards, please, Spirit. 
It could be a fire sign. We have King of Wands. Wow, Gemini. You have the world. Three more cards, please. See, this is not... Oh, this is beautiful. You have two major arcana. We have the world. This is this person is very stable. They want a, a, a good, solid foundation with you. They're ready to commit to you and only you. They have a real solid offer of love that they want to give to you. But it's because you work on yourself. You changed your vibration, your energy field, all of that healing work. Like attracts like, and you drew this person in with your energy. Wow, but you know what? They're not going to be the only person. <laughs> you have lots of options. So it's two of pentacles, options. You can't make it up. Last card for Gemini, please. My butt is starting to hurt. This chair is very hard. Okay. I need a different workspace, y'all. Y'all need to start tipping me so I can get a bigger workspace. It ain't no joke. No. <laughs> okay. So we have King of Swords Ambition. And then we have a Five of Swords Conflict. Okay. So here's what this is showing me, Gemini. Someone has a very stable offer that they want to give you. They're, they want to commit to you. And it's not a shitty energy. This is someone who's very stable and secure. Look, we got four of wands, reward, one, two, three, four. The, you know what I call those, right? The four pillars of stability. And look, we got them again. We got eight, four of pentacles, security. So both of these cards speak of security and a steady, solid offer of love from someone who wants a commitment with you, okay? This card right here, look, it's practicality. So this person is very practical. They know what they want. They go for it and they secure it, you know? It's a good, solid offer of commitment, Look, even in this card, he's offering something. And then the side energy that came out to top all of this was Knight of Cups. Look, it says proposal. Can you see that? You probably can't see that. But this is the energy of someone wanting to, it, I mean, it's proposal energy. Someone of literally that wants to propose. Someone that wants to offer you a solid commitment. Someone who wants to say, Let, look, let's make this. Let's make this final, like, let's do this. I want you and only you, like, be my person, be my girlfriend. Like, I want, I want you, you know? Um, yet, this card came out, Five of Swords, Conflict. This is the energy of, of, of different suitors all competing for your time and your energy, Gemini. So... This isn't the only person that wants to offer you something, yet the other ones are, are not showing up as like this committed energy, okay? You will have a lot of options coming in. I mean, this right here, the two of pentacles, it literally says options, So, and it, but there's two. So you could be dealing with two different suitors, right? One, this one, probably an air, I mean, a fire sign, Aries. Leo, Sag. Then the other, the other divine masculine energy, and it's not about, you know, gender or sex, but this is two divine masculines. The other one came out as king of swords. Okay. Ambition. So the other, the other energy would be someone who also has like, um, a fire sign energy, or they could be an air sign. Swords are about, is, you know, represents air signs. But this person is, is not sure of what they want. They're too logical. They, they're in their head. They don't use their heart as much as someone like the King of Wands would. The King of Wands is passionate. They're fiery. They know what they want. They go for it. They're like, that's mine. I'm going for it. 
you know, the King of Swords would be someone who hesitates and is kind of like, uh, I don't know if I'm feeling this. I'm sort of feeling like, like I'm in love with this person, but I'm not sure that, you know, that this is what it is. And they're very practical and logical. And that's a shitty energy to be in when it comes to love. I mean, you shouldn't be sitting here thinking like, you know, overthinking things when it comes to love. You're supposed to go with your heart. But those are the two options that you're dealing with right now, Gemini. And I see that there's a lot of conflict in this area. So you're at this energy too where you're not quite sure which one of these you want to give your energy to. So in the end, it's going to be up to you. But know that one has a really solid offer and the other one is going to be sort of wishy-washy. I can feel his energy, okay? Either way, make the choice that feels good for you because look it, this is the energy of the world. This is everything that you ever desired coming in like bam. It's like, it's literally like the universe going here, take this and take this and take this and take this. And you learned this lesson and this cycle is completed. So take this and this and this and this and this as well. And this is all coming in in regards to your love life. What is it that you dreamed of having when you picture your perfect romance? That's what's going to be offered by the universe. But you're going to have to make a choice. Which one of these is the universe saying is the right one? That's the question. Okay. It's going to take a lot of going within. A lot of, like this card says, self-reflection. This is the card of learning your lessons. Learning from the past. So... You're going to have to take those lessons that you learned and decide between these two energies, which one do you think is the best fit for you? Is it going to be someone who's a little bit standoffish, a little bit cold, but they could be totally devoted to you. You don't know. You're going to have to feel it out with your heart or someone who's absolutely positively sure about you and is ready to jump in with you. The decision is yours. All right, I'm going to do some romance angels and then the who oracle and we're going to call it a reading. Wowzers, very nice, very nice energy, very good, very good. Reading now for Gemini, I need, this has been a great reading, three cards. <laughs> Three last cards for Gemini before we do the Who Oracle. I haven't done that one for you yet, have I? No. True love. Wow. I told you one of these motherfuckers is your, your person. It says, this is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. So we have this card. It says true love. And it says, this is the romance of a lifetime. But then we also have the next card, which we, which I picked in the Romance Angels for you is separation. It says, time apart from your, from your partners on the horizon. So, when this new true love energy comes in, make sure you're focused on making the right decision on which person you want. It feels like when you make a decision, there might be a, a period of separation while you're trying to make up your mind, okay? And Spirit is saying, that's okay, take your time. They also want you to work on your self-love. This has came up already twice for you. This says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So while you're taking this pause and this little separation, trying to figure out what it is that you want work on your self-love so that you can feel ready when you make your choice gemini all right we're gonna do the who oracle and then we're gonna call it a reading i gotta do sagittarius and i'm tired i want to go to sleep now so whoa let's do four Four. Four. Let's do four. It's getting hot in here too. I don't know why, but it is. Four cards. Four. 
Performing Arts. Sweating. Hold on. I need to turn the fan up. So your person might be a performer. They might be a musician. They could be an actor. Wow. And then we have Introvert. So... You're dealing with someone here, or maybe this is your energy. I don't know. Yours and your person's energies are always inexplicably tied. Of course, they would be, you know, because your guys' heart energy is so connected. We have introvert, so this is someone who doesn't like to um, be around people. They tend to stay towards themselves. They tend to be very quiet and... Um, only share when guided like they like to keep their emotions to themselves they wouldn't be someone who's very like loud or boisterous we have performing arts and look someone's playing a violin we have a water sign so it could be a water sign Scorpio one of the water signs Scorpio Pisces cancer okay and we have light hair now this could be your energy, could be your person's energy. Um, I mean energy, I didn't mean to say energy, physical traits. So if you're single, be looking out for these traits. If you're dating someone now and they have these traits, very good possibility. That's your person. Gemini, I love you. If you wanna book a reading with me, please do click on this little arrow and all of my prices will pop up for you. I'm gonna have new stuff in my Etsy shop, probably the beginning of June. Check out my son's channel. Um, thank you for those of you who have joined me on Patreon. I am so grateful. I'm not going to do the sexual energy reads for April. I'm going to do them for May because I am catching up since I've been ill. Thank you all so much for your patience. Thank you for all your likes, shares, your subscriptions. I'm almost at 400 subscribers. You guys are amazing. If you want to tip me, there's two different ways that you can tip me. And the price, the link, I almost said prices. Well, my prices are up there too. But the link is in my description box for my PayPal and also for my Cash App. Those are the two ways you can tip me. And I appreciate everything that you guys give me because this is my only job. I am a tarot reader, damn it. This is what I do, okay? And, you know, I got three babies to feed. So, <laughs> all right. I love you, Gemini. Um, we're done. Bye.